a senior police commander uh, in southern Afghanistan told me, look, uh, you need to be focusing more on the economy because if you don't take care of this unemployment problem, I'm going to have to go out there and fight all these young men. The Afghan government really uh, does not have a robust revenue base. Um, it collects some tolls, uh, particularly at the uh, uh, Pakistan and Iranian borders. Um, unfortunately, those revenues haven't grown in the way that, that we'd hoped. Uh, there had been some hope that mining would, uh, would help out, but the problem is that um, nothing has come out of the ground in a meaningful way. Uh, there's a huge uh, copper deposit called INAC, uh, southeast of here. Uh, that, unfortunately, uh, work has been halted on that. There's a huge iron ore deposit called Hajigak. Uh, that also has been scaled back as investors have become nervous about the security situation. And so uh, some of the things that the World Bank in particular had been hoping might salvage the economic situation simply are not going to come online as quickly as they need to. The economy is still largely agri agricultural, so uh, in some ways the, the rain that you're seeing behind me right now is good news. I mean, uh, if we get good rainfall, uh, that can soften some of the blow uh, because people will be able to feed themselves uh, in some of the rural areas. But it's a grim transition economically, and uh, it doesn't get nearly enough attention uh, from the international community, which remains focused on the politics.